2015 and time for an update on the DeRosia movie. We found even more cousins and it's exciting to be at the point of adding people to our story. The DeRosia family history is based in a lot of photographs given to us by Lillian Howard and also from an album owned by Lillian's Aunt Louise. You will hear Lillian Howard's voice and also Jeannie Young. This is Teresa Boucher, and it's been my joy to put all these things together. Joseph de Roja and his wife, Josephine Comtois, immigrated from Lanaray, Quebec. They lived for a short time in Great Falls, New Hampshire, and we think arrived in Northborough in the mid-1860s. Joseph's oldest son, Joseph, was a foreman in the mill. Joseph's home on Main Street in Northborough is still occupied by family members today. Joseph's second son, Louis, was married at the age of 19. He also worked in the mill, and there are many of his descendants in the Northborough area. Joseph's youngest son, Francis, is also called Frank, and many of his family moved to the area near Plainville, Connecticut. We met Frank's grandson, Bob, through his letter to the Northborough Historical Society. Lillian will tell us about Joseph's son, Arthur, a little bit later on. Joseph's three daughters include Eliza, who moved to Manitoba, Aunt Minnie, and also Aunt Louise, who raised Hattie. We even have a picture of Aunt Minnie and Aunt Louise and Uncle Dan in Egypt. Meme's first husband he just went out in the yard and a great big dog came and bit him and it killed him. He was poisoned by mm. it. So she wasn't married too long to, with him. Arthur's four daughters were Josie, who married a Roberts, Eliza, who married a Belvazar, Delvina, and also Hattie. Back to Arthur's daughters. Here's Josie, followed by two of her daughters, her son, and her grandson, Robert, as well as his children. Then there's Eliza, her siblings, and then her daughter, Millie, and family. Delvina had many children and was also married twice. Hattie worked for a meat market. She also sent funny cards. And enjoyed Hampton Beach. Arthur's son, Arthur is followed by his grandson, Kenny, on the right. Son, Mitty, was a bowling champion in the Worcester area. 
The story we heard about George was that he died in Chicago and his uh, body was shipped by train back home. Here are Arthur's four children by his second marriage to Eugenia Russo Carrijo. Here is Clarence, followed by two of his uh, Jouer grandchildren. And finally, Ernest lived most of his life in the Syracuse, New York area. And what did I tell you the story? When I was a little yeah. girl like Mary. Yeah. Yeah, we lived on a farm, Mary. And we got a new cow. And my father said to me, you take that new cow up. And the, there was a brook way up over the hill in the, in the woods where they had this brook. With, and the animals would go up there to drink. But this cow, I got a rope, put it around her, and I said, come on. I just got a little ways, and there was a big stone wall. I could see it now. She just took me up and threw it over the wall. I couldn't walk or sit down for two months. <laughs> now we listen to Jeannie Young, recorded in 1984 at Hermitage Nursing Home. Where did you get married? Down in our town. We lived in East Brookfield then. Oh, the whole town turned out. In those days, if somebody got married, it was a big occasion, you know. Because I always sang in the choir, so they all turned out and they had hired a choir. <laughs> there have been many family reunions, and each of them is a big occasion. One reunion that ties our whole history together is a 2004-2005 trip to Lanaray, Quebec, where we met many Derosiers. We saw one of the family homes, the church where um, Joseph and his children were baptized, and we met so many relatives. We hope that you can find your connection back to these two generations of Derosiers, or Derosier. It leave you with the story about Emile de Rogier, who lived in Lanaray. He went on a boat trip with his daughter, Helene, and as she took his picture, she said, thank you for waving at me, Dad. And he said, no, I'm waving at your cousins in the United States. Even though he had not seen a cousin, and no one in the family had seen a cousin for over 150 years.